Hello and welcome to one of the greatest cars ever made. And you might be thinking, hmm, that's a goal. Just a goal. Well, hang on a minute with that just a goal. This is the Golf GTI Mark V. The Mark V is the latest one. And it is better than the Mark IV. Way better than the Mark IV. Now that's the word I'm looking for. You see, for many years before the Mark V, the Mark II, the Mark III, and the Mark IV, they were just fat. The Mark I was a joy to drive, and this goes back to that true spirit. It is a sensation to drive. I mean, the brakes, for instance, are absolutely brilliant. The handling is absolutely brilliant. I mean, this is front view drive, but it is so easy to drive. We've got a two, two litre, no, not two litre. We've got a four cylinder turbo engine. That's 200 brake horsepower. And if you are used to watch six gear, that doesn't sound like much because on six gear we review cars with three times that power. But trust me, it is so nice. I mean, even the sound I like. It felt slow, it felt just normal in the corners, it felt easy, but I mean, that is easy when you're not going that fast, and it felt just boring. This so doesn't feel boring. When I first drove this after the Mark IV, I thought, yes, it is a difference. It's better looking as well. I love the tail lights, but I love the back of this thing. I mean, it's just so nice. And the front, with that angry GTI grill, really makes sense. But then, the best thing is that it's also practical. It's a joy to drive. It is good as going pretty fast when you want it to. And it is so practical. I mean, Plenty of space in the cabin, plenty of space in the back, and plenty of space in the boot. The end. And that is the point of hot hatchbacks. That is why I love hot hatchbacks. And because this is so good, hatch uh, this is such a good hatchback. It's it, I think it's one of the best cars ever made. is a Bugatti very one as I said when I was driving the Dodge Viper but I mean this if you want a sensible car with, with you can go to the shops or just go to school with your kids this is just the answer final days of the Golf GTI Mark V because it's going to be replaced by a Mark VI and I don't know if you've seen it but it is, has the new front of the VW new Scirocco and it has the back of a Golf GTI with Touareg taillights now 
forgive me, but I think the Scirocco looks brilliant, but I don't think it works on the new Golf. I think this is better looking than the Mark VI. So, for styling, I think they're going back. That's not good. But my main problem with the Mark VI is that the point, how are they in, on earth are they going to make it as good as this? Unbelievably nice to drive. And when you are not in the mood, you can just relax. Get it easy. Now I can just whisper to you and you see me. Because the engine is so silent at 26 miles an hour. 30 miles an hour. Feel nothing. And now I have to just speak again because I'm opening the tanks again. Because I don't like relaxed driving, I'm on a race circuit. Twin ring on Tegi. The short east course for that matter. Whoa, I'm going the wrong way. Clever, isn't it? Now this golf is absolutely sensational. I never ever have so much fun in a relaxed drive as in a golf. I mean, it is so relaxing, then so good. If you want to relax, you can. opening the engine a lot, it's not really using the turbo now, so I just don't have to talk that loud. And now I do. But still it isn't that loud. It is the sound it does make. It's nice, I mean it's nice for cinema sound, I mean like nice or hatchback sound, but it isn't that noisy. then is not just more practical than any supercar but more fun than some as well I mean you can just relax in this when you want to in any supercar you have to pay attention at any single moment with this and that is one of the best things in a car to drive it relaxed on a great road the Golf GTI Mark V Probably this is the last time you will see it on any car program. So wave for goodbye. And I say to you, goodbye. <laughs>